Hey guys, if you were throwing a gender reveal party with family or friends, you definitely need some exciting treats on your dessert table. So today we are making a DIY breakable chocolate bear filled with a surprise inside and some chocolate covered Oreos to go along with it. This treat box is a memorable and sweet way to celebrate the big news. So be sure to keep on watching. We are doing a fun tie-dye technique and Mr. Bear is our model for today. So make sure you have a three-part bear mold and some pink, blue, and white colored chocolate. I'm mixing a little bit of the white in with my blue since I couldn't find a baby blue color. This is a great trick to achieve any pastel shade. Super easy, all I'm doing here is microwaving these for 30 seconds at a time until they fall off the spoon into a smooth and fluid consistency. It usually takes only two rounds of that. And now we are all ready to start molding. You are going to take the three layers apart to get to the inside of the mold. And I like to begin with a mini spoonful of each color to make random splatter and drizzle lines. Use your Picasso skills and think of this as a fun art project. As long as your chocolate is at fluid consistency like I showed you, it splatters nicely. So it is important to work quickly. The best part about the clear mold is you can turn it over and see how it looks. Once the splatter is to your liking, add some larger sections with a bigger spoon. Then pour a generous amount of the white chocolate to coat the ears, arms, legs, and middle. I'm going to zoom in for a sec to show you this fill line. It is hard to see on camera, but that is your guide. And to fill that up, I continue to add more color as well and blended everything together with a brush. I do a combination of swirling and tapping motions to coat the entire mold really well and to prevent any holes from forming. Have your other layers handy on the side to put right on top and press firmly to ensure that the chocolate spreads to the edges and all around. You will be all done after we pop him in the freezer for 15 minutes and he's going to look super cute. He's just chilling in there. All we need to do is remove the top layer and carefully peel off the silicone insert. Next, we are going to jump into our chocolate covered Oreos. For the girl, the strawberry frosted donut flavor was so delicious and the filling is already pink. But if you don't have those, what I'm doing for the boy is splitting open my Oreos and applying a small amount of melted chocolate directly on top of the cream and pressing the cookie part on until you see the color peek through. You can do this with the pink chocolate as well. It definitely works. After all the Oreos are good to go, I'm using an Oreo mold and filling halfway with the melted chocolate. Next, push the Oreo in until it reaches the bottom, then cover the top of the cookie and the remainder of the mold by pushing it around. The other half, I'm going to do pink. And guys, if you are new to my channel, make sure you join the party and subscribe for new videos every week. Now I've finished all my Oreos and it's time to freeze them for 15 minutes. The mold gives such a nice shape and they should have a shiny appearance as the perfect canvas for our decorations. I have a footprint mold here and the quickest no mess method to do this is to put the chocolate into a plastic squeeze bottle which I will be sure to link in the description box below. Give them a tap and freeze for 10 minutes and we can go ahead and put them on our Oreos. You only need a thin layer on the back and will stick right on like a glue. I don't know about you, but sparkle makes everything better. So I'm taking a white pearl dust and brushing it on with a dusting brush to give the Oreos a beautiful shine.
For the next design, I have pink and blue edible glitter to sprinkle on, and I'm drizzling the chocolate first. It is key to snip a tiny corner off your pastry bag and make tight motions with consistent pressure. After that, shake the glitter on while the chocolate is wet. Back to Mr. Bear, I'm brushing on the same white pearl dust to give him a glow and piping a question mark on his belly with Betty Crocker decorating icing from the store. This is a good shortcut if you don't want to make a whole batch of icing. And while that dries, I'm mixing gold edible glitter with a small amount of lemon extract as a really pretty gold paint that adds so much detail and is perfect for presenting the big surprise in our box. I kept mine simple, but feel free to customize it however you like. On the inside, I used a combination of pink and blue shredded crinkle paper. And let's say this baby is a boy, so for the different candies, I have M&Ms, blue sixlets, and these marshmallow twists to place directly under where Mr. Bear is going to go. Last is to arrange the Oreos and don't forget a wooden mallet to see what's inside. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me. It's Christina here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.